Hello friends, today we shall discuss parking surveys, what are methods of conducting parking studies and parking surveys are performed to gather information about the parking supply and demand, how the parking area is being utilized and what is the turnover and this information can also be used to decide the parking fee. Now before we go into the parking surveys, there are certain terms which should be understood. The first is parking accumulation. The total number of vehicles parked in an area at a given time, that is parking accumulation. And generally this parking accumulation is presented in the form of a accumulation curve. So this is the time and this is the number of vehicles parked, number of parked vehicles or number of vehicles parked in the area. So this will be something like this and the area under this curve that is accumulation curve is known as parking load. So parking load is basically this area. So it has the number of parked vehicles multiplied by the time interval time interval of the study. So it is vehicles into hour or vehicles into minute. The second is parking volume. The number of vehicles parked in a particular area over a given period of time that is parking volume and it is generally in vehicles per day or in vehicles per hour. But this does not account for the repetition of vehicles. The actual volume of vehicles entered in the area is recorded. Then third term is parking duration. The length of the time is spent in a parking space by a vehicle is the parking duration. The next is parking turnover and parking turnover is the ratio of number of vehicles parked in a duration to the total number of parking bays available. So if there are 10 parking spaces used by let us say 100 vehicles in a period of 4 hours, then this parking turnover will be 100 upon 10, 10 vehicles using 10 spaces in 4 hours or you can say 2.5 vehicles per hour. That is the parking turnover. And finally, the parking index. Parking index is the number of bays occupied by the parked vehicles divided by theoretically total number of bays available, total number of parking bays available that is parking index multiplied by 100. So it is in percent parking index. So these are terms which are used while analyzing the data from parking survey. There are broadly two types of parking surveys. One is in-out survey. In this survey, the occupancy count in the selected parking area is made before starting the survey and then after each time interval, the number of vehicles which are entering into the parking area and the number of vehicles which are coming out of the parking area is noted down. And at the end of the count period or survey period, we again count the number of vehicles present in the parking area. And then we make a table of all these data. I'll explain this method using one example. An example is that in out survey for one hour, for a parking area with 60 bays is conducted. The initial count of cars parked was 34. The number of vehicles coming in and going out of the parking area is given in this table. Time duration 15 minute interval. For each time interval you have now the vehicles coming into the parking area and vehicles going out of the parking area. Initial count is 34 and the total number of bays in the area is 60. 
these are the data which are available from parking survey. Now, what is the accumulation here? If you add one more row here to find the accumulation, Now, accumulation initially there were 34 vehicles in the parking area, 8 joined, 11 left. So, 34 plus 8, 42 minus 11, 31. 31 is the accumulation during this period. Similarly, now 31 plus 10 minus 8, that is 33, will be accumulation in the next time interval. And similarly, you can find out 33 plus 4 minus 6, that is 31. 31 plus 5 minus 7, that is 29. So, this is the accumulation in each time interval. What is the parking load? Parking load is, I told you this is the accumulation multiplied by time interval. So, 31 into 15 is the parking load in vehicles minute. So, you can say 31 multiplied by 15 divided by 60, that is vehicles hour, vehicles hour. Similarly here, 33 into 0 0.25, 15 upon 60. So this is 7.75, this is 8.25, 7.75. And 7.29. So, 5. That is parking load. Total sum of all these values will be 31. 31 vehicles into hour. This is the total parking load in one hour of survey. And if you want to find out the parking index, parking index is the total number of base occupied divided by total number of base available. So, it is 31 upon 60 that is 31 upon 60 if you want to express in percentage you can just multiply by 100 this is 51.7 percent 55 percent 51.7 percent and 48.3 percent. That is how the data coming from in-out survey is analyzed. Now, this is simple method. It requires very less labor. Only a single person can note down the number of vehicles coming in and going out of the parking area. But this way method does not provide the data regarding the time duration for which a particular vehicle is parked. And therefore, it cannot be used to define or to decide the parking fee. Another method is registration plate method. In this method, the parking area is surveyed after every time interval, let us say 15 minutes again, and the registration plate of the vehicle occupying a particular bay is noted down. So, you have a table where you just have it in one column, you have the bay number and the second column for the first time interval, you just note down the registration plate number of the vehicle occupying the particular bay, parking bay. Then for the next time interval, next time interval. So here you can find out how long a vehicle remained in a parking bay so that you can decide the parking fee also. This naturally will require more labor because you have to observe every parking lot and after every time interval of 15 minutes. But this gives you detailed information. Let me just explain this method also with the help of an example. And the example is that parking survey data collected from a parking lot by license plate method is shown in this table. There are six bays in the parking lot. We conducted survey from 8 to 9 in the morning and for each 15 minute interval, we noted down the license plate of the vehicles which are part in a particular bay. This is the license plate number of a car in bay 1 during 8 to 8.15 am. During next time interval this has changed now, this has changed now, this has changed now. 
This vehicle is parked. 8930 in bay 2 is parked for the time interval 1, time interval 2. So that is how you collect the data. And let us make 4 more columns to mention the number of vehicles which are present. Time interval remains same that is your first time interval 8 to 8 15, 15 to 30, 8 30 to 45 and 8 45 to 9. So here in the first bay there was one vehicle, there was one vehicle, one vehicle, one vehicle. 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. That is how you can just put it, these values, whether the bay was occupied or it was empty. That is the number of vehicles in each bay during each time interval. But turnover, what is the turnover of each? Bay. Here there are four, four vehicles used this bay. Now here only three vehicles use this bay. So it will be three. One, only one vehicle used this bay throughout the 45 minutes. So that is the turnover. And similarly here one, two, three, four. Whenever this number changes, you count in the turnover. 1, 2 and 3 and 1 and 2 that is the turnover of each bay and if you take sum of all these that is your sum of turnovers is 70 and here the total number of vehicles in each time interval is 5, 5, 5 and 6. That is total number. This is what you call the accumulation. Accumulation in each time period of 15 minutes. Accumulation multiplied by time period that gives you the parking load. So 5 into 15, 5 into 15, 5 into 15, 5 into 15, 6 into 15. Total sum is the total parking load. Now parking index Parking index, sometimes it is also called the occupancy. Parking index is 5 upon 6 into 100 or even without 100 also. That is 0 0.83. Why 6? Because there are 6 bays. Out of these 6 bays during this first interval, 5 were occupied. So that is your occupancy index or, or parking index. Similarly here this is 0 0.83, 0 0.83 and here it will be 6 by 6, 1. Now total turnout here is 17, number of bays are 6 and therefore average of turnover is 17 upon 6 that is 2.83. Average parking index will be average of these four values. So, that total sum divided by 4, 0.83 plus 0.83 plus 0.83 plus 1, that is 0.875 or 87.5 percent. Now, this Parking load also you can find out and parking load will be total accumulation multiplied by time interval, time period. So as I told you it will be 5 into 15 plus 5 into 15 plus 5 into 15 plus 6 into 15. That is vehicle minutes divided by 60, you get vehicles into hour. So that is 
21 total sum is 21 21 into 15 minute interval divided by 60 that is your 5.25 vehicles into hour that is parking load and efficiency of this parking area is parking load divided by total number of bays available for parking so this is this is the same as parking index parking load divided by number of parking bays available so you should get the same value 87.5 percent here also so parking load is 5.25 divided by 6 multiplied by 100 that is 87.5 percent that is how we analyze the data so these are two methods of parking survey thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions you can write in the comment box